Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He is one of the most respected and beloved actors on stage, screen, and television. The and he's also best known for his Oscar-winning role in Officer and a Gentleman. Oh, absolutely. He is a social activist, educator, and author who has dedicated his life to service. Please welcome Academy Award-winning actor, Lewis Gossett, Jr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, what a blessed event to be here. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. In we the are middle so of all your lovely. Oh, my Thank goodness, you. Man. Thank you yeah. so much. My great grandma used to say, my great grandma would probably say, good God in the quarter. <laughs> 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 we really do uh, appreciate you being here. You are a living legend. You Thank really you are. Yeah. Thank you. At what point in your life did you know you were going to get into show business, and how did that transpire for well, you? Well, I wanted to be a doctor and an athlete. I really? figured they'd be a doctor by way of sports. Wow. And uh, so I, I, my first job on Broadway was when I was 17, so I was Ooh, still in high wow. school. And, um, and then so I didn't get in my system, you know, until I went to a Raisin in the Sun. And at the same time, I was drafted to the New York Knicks rookie. Are you oh, kidding wow. me? So 1959. So I went up there, and they didn't have no money. <laughs> I mean, the rookies, there was a fist fighting and stuff, so I decided, I'm going to try show business, because okay. I had more money in my pocket than they had in the bank. I know, that's right. Wow. It's a different ball game today. It is, it's It'll different. different. Oof. But I just joined Lorraine Hansberry and said, oh. Bordier, and it got into my system. And ever since 1959, wow. I've been a professional actor. Nine, so that you've spanned over six decades in in this industry and so did you ever think that it, that your career would be so long lasting mm -hmm. it's it's lightning in a bottle you know especially during those times you know mm -hmm. there was nothing but Sidney Buddy at the time yeah, mm -hmm. yes and here I am with Sidney so I put my hand on his belt so oh. you know, you know, <laughs> but uh, it's a uh, history it's nice to be history at the time they don't know whether it's what, history or not mm -hmm. but it is history it is, and, and yeah, hopefully it is. it's, it's uh, it, it encourages youngs other young actors right. to try this stuff. Wow. Know. With such a vast career, I, I, I got to know, what's your favorite role or your favorite film? Well, I have, I'm very fortunate to have a couple of them. Of yes. course, The Region in the Sun, of course, yes. the, and The Officer and Gentleman, you know, Iron Eagle and all that. But my favorite experience was Enemy Mind. Oh, one of my favorites. Mm. I, had to, uh, I had to create a character from scratch, from another planet. So I did a study with a, a ballet instructor, a yoga, and a, and a martial artist. So I could do my body different ways. Right, right. And then um, a, a, a speech pattern, you know. Oh. That came from when I was five years old. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's, that's how Lone Range and Tonto would go. Yeah. You know? oh. <laughs> so I pulled all the stuff in, and, and, it's, and it was tough, painful. And you were responsible for making that character. I did that, yeah, oh. from scratch, from scratch. I'm, OK, so yeah. I have to ship just for a second, y'all. How did, how did you develop that character in, into being hermaphroditic and, you know, being able to spawn itself and just, it, it was an amazing character, yeah, it really well, was. It's, so it's what a was challenge. your thought process? Well, the, well, the guy wrote it. it down, so I said, this is what I have to try and figure out how to do. And somewhere along the line, we are probably all that anyway back in the good old days. Mm -hmm. There's two halves of a heart now, oh. but the heart's still connected, which is why it's, I guess it's your turn now to, to run things mm -hmm. and, and, and rely on, on your, 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 your grace yeah. and, and your, your, your sensitiveness and yes. your forgiveness. It's your turn. Yeah. So we're still connected at the heart. So this character who was a hermaphrodite started from that time when mm -hmm. he was only one character. Oh. As we evolve here in this country, of course, we separated, you know. Yeah. We're still the same, y'all yes, and me. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, you're winning an Oscar for yes, uh, Officer and a Gentleman. Mm -hmm. So, but after that happened, how has your career, how did your career change after that well, moment? Well, uh, very, very funny. Both in Roots, when I got the, 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 the Emmy and then the Oscar, got very little work. Really? really? Tell, the television, thank goodness for Norman Lee, mm -hmm. the Jeffersons and Goodson. Yes. Uh, no. They couldn't find something for me. It took them a year to try and find something. Why do you think that was? Because before that, I don't think I was expected to win. Oh, okay. I, I didn't expect myself to win because it was James Mason who was his last movie, and it was Robert Preston in his last movie. I said, well, I'm in the top five. <laughs> Until my agent hit me in the, in the elbow with the dress, just said your name. <laughs> so I just thanked everyone and stuff, but uh, it was a piece of yeah. history that the industry was not prepared for. Right. Okay. Really getting prepared now, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They, really are, they don't have a choice yeah. anymore. It's yeah, almost right. like now. You played Fiddler in Alex Hazley's uh, Roots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you know that it was going to be that successful at the time where you were filming for that movie? No, we thought it was special for us. Mm. So we're very grateful for ABC to, to put our story finally on the screen that we already knew in living right. rooms right. and kitchens and stuff. We knew about it. All of a sudden, it's on national TV. They were worried about the South. Mm -hmm. it's the whole world stopped to see it. So that, once again, it's lightning in a bottle, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. I have yes, a feeling we're going to have some lightning in the bottle again in about two I think years. It's time. Yeah. I think it's, it's time. time. You know, yes. it's time for y'all, right? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. speaking of time, we're going to have more with the legendary Hugh Lewis Gossett Jr. when we come back. So just stay right here. You yeah. might as well. That, yeah, that was phenomenal. Like, yeah. we, and then you get like, like a 10